Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Blessed be our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the Holy Lamb of God. You know, many people in the world today, many people say, I can't wait for the day of the Lord. I can't wait for the Lord to return. I can't wait till Jesus come back. But many people don't really understand what it is that they're saying. And I've heard many people who love their sins say this. But I say unto you, the day of the Lord is a great and terrible day as it declares in his word. Understand something, people. Jesus Christ came into the world. He was conceived in Mary's womb. As a little helpless baby, he came forth into the world. Jesus Christ laid down his life. He came into the world to save sinners, as the angel told Joseph in the book of Matthew chapter 1. You shall call his name Jesus, and he shall save the people from their sins. Jesus came to save sinners from their sins. Jesus even said in the book of John, I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Jesus came to give us salvation and set us free from the bondage of sin. Jesus Christ was crucified. He was slain. He was slain as a lamb. Jesus Christ showed compassion and love to people. He healed the sick, raised the dead, cast out demons, preached repentance. And Jesus Christ preached with authority. He preached against sin. Jesus said in John 7, 7, the world cannot hate you, but me it hates because I testify that the works thereof are evil. So Jesus preached repentance. He preached against sin. And he rebuked the Pharisees and Sadducees. He rebuked the people that chose to reject him and his word. Jesus Christ, death did not end on the cross. Jesus now sits on the right hand side of God the Father. But I say unto you that Jesus is coming again. Jesus is coming back as the line of Judah. The Bible says in the book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 2, the day of the Lord is a day of darkness and, and gloominess. That word darkness means that it's a day of doom. That word gloominess means that it's going to be a frightening day. Verse 11, it says, that the day of the Lord is a great and terrible day. Who can abide it? The book of Amos 5.18 says, Woe unto the people. Woe unto you that desires the day of the Lord. For the day of the Lord is darkness, is not light. And many people say that in their heart. They desire the day of the Lord, having no idea, no understanding that the day of the Lord is a great and terrible day. <coughs> The Bible says in the book of, book of 2 Thessalonians chapter 1. The Lord Jesus Christ shall be revealed from heaven. And when he do, he shall be revealed from heaven with flame and fire. Taking vengeance on them that don't know God and obey not the gospel. And they shall be cast away from the presence of the Lord into everlasting destruction. And from the glory of his power. Jesus is coming back as the line of Judah. Jesus is coming back to take vengeance on the people that rejected the word of God. Jesus is coming back to smite the nations. He's coming back to execute judgment. St. John gave us a vision that God gave him. He gave us divine revelation. The book of Revelation chapter 19. St. John said, I saw heaven open. And I seen the son of God on a horse, a white horse, with his armies. And his name is called the word of God. And he wore a vesture as it was dipped in blood. And out of his mouth came forth a sword that he will use to smite the nations. And he's coming as the fury, the wrath of the almighty God. And on his vesture and on his thigh was written, King of kings, Lord of lords. Jesus Christ is coming back, y'all. And he's coming back as the line of Judah to execute judgment. He's coming to destroy this world. 
Jesus coming to get his church, holy people, without spot, wrinkle, nor blemish, and he's going to execute judgment upon this world. This world is going to be destroyed, y'all. It's going to be destroyed. He said that, that his eyes was as the flaming fire. Because our God, he is a consuming fire. The Lord is coming back, y'all. He's coming to execute judgment. He's coming to bring justice. And he's not going to show no mercy. If you're one of those people who don't know God, I beseech you today to come to repentance. If you're one of them people who, who have tasted and seen that, that deliverance is real and holiness is right, but you backslide, I beseech you today to repent and depart from iniquity. Come out of Babylon and serve the Lord with your whole heart. Because the day of the Lord draw nigh, the great and terrible day of the Lord draw nigh. And I say until the saints look up, for our redemption draw nigh. The Lord is coming back, y'all, as the line of Judah. Don't be deceived by the man-made doctrine that teaches you that it's going to be a beautiful sunny day outside and the Lord just going to come back like as he was when he was in the world. The Lord coming back as the line of Judah, y'all. He's coming to get his church and destroy this world. And if you're one of those people that hate God, and you hate God if you don't keep his commandments, John, Jesus said in John 14, 15, if you love me, keep my commandments. They that keep my commandments, it is them that love me. So if you're one of those people that say that you love the Lord, but don't keep his commandments, then you a liar and the truth is not in you. Come to repentance today. No one knows the day or the hour that the Lord is going to return. But Jesus gave us in Matthew 24 the things to look for. He said, when you see these things coming to pass, know that I am at the door. He said, when you see these things coming to pass, look up for your redemption draws nigh. And look around, y'all. Look around. Scriptures are being fulfilled. The day of the Lord draws nigh. Repent, you sinners. Repent, you backsliders. And return back to your first love. And all of you preachers of the gospel, stop sugarcoating the word of God. Stop compromising the word of God. It's time out from baby and people. It's time to give people to meet the word of the Lord. It's time out to compromise in the word of the Lord, for you will be held accountable. All of you prophets, rise up. You evangelists, hit them streets. Rise up and proclaim the name of the Lord. All of you intercessors, pray. Pray for the church of God, because great persecution is coming unto this nation. The scripture shall be fulfilled. Behold, the line of Judah is coming, for he is the Lord of lords and the king of kings. Repent. Holiness is still right and deliverance is still real. Shalom.